Hello friends. Uh, in our yesterday's lecture, we have started with sum number four, and today we are going for sum number five, and then after that chapter will be completed. After completing this chapter, <coughs> we will see third chapter of accountancy, but it is not included in unit test. Okay, formats I have given. Uh, see to it. Yes. Now, page number fifty, sum number five. To which account the following transactions will be debited and credited in the books of Ganesh described with reason? Let me first show question number five. Debit and credit. Effect of transactions with reasons. Serial number, debit effect, credit. Okay, let us start. Number one. Seventy-five thousand brought in cash and commenced the business. We are starting the business by bringing the cash of seventy-five thousand. So again, cash is coming to the business, whereas the owner is the giver of the capital. So cash will be debited. Owner's capital means capital account will be credited. Number one. Cash comes in business cash account debit owner is giver of capital capital account. Incurred puja expense for two thousand. Now, in the business, this is some new transaction. We are uh, doing a puja uh, rituals and according to the religious systems, we are conducting a puja and we are incurring the expense for it. So, expense is debited and we are incurring the expense. So, cash goes out. So, cash is credited. Now, what is the name of the expense? We cannot write puja expense. Instead, we can write shop expense. Why shop expense? The reason is simple. This puja expense and small small other expenses, all the small small expenses of the business are written to the shop expense account, not puja expense account. Okay? Because puja is not related to business. Okay. Number two. Puja expenses incurred. Shop expenses account debit. Cash is paid. Cash account debit. Next. Brought personal furniture of ten thousand. Now we are not purchasing the furniture, but we are bringing our personal furniture to the business. So it is like first transaction. In first transaction, we are bringing cash to commence the business, 
here we are bringing our personal furniture in the business so furniture is coming in so for j furniture is an asset it is coming in furniture accountant now who is the giver of that furniture no any shopkeeper personal furniture means it is our own it is owner's furniture so when owner is bringing cash uh, or any other thing then capital account is only to be credited understand this thing we are not purchasing the furniture furniture was of owner only and he is bringing his home's furniture is personal furniture into the business so furniture is coming in furniture account debit and owner is the giver of that and owner uh, capital account number 3 furniture comes in furniture account debit owner is the giver capital account deposited 30000 to the state bank of india we are depositing our money to state bank of india so our money is received by state bank of india state bank of india is the receiver and our cash is going out so cash account should be credited number 4 bank is the receiver of our cash state bank of india write the name of bank also in book they are not writing but we will write state bank of india account credit the reason it is up to you okay don't worry about the reason in exam also cash goes out cash account next obtained a loan of 30000 from wife yesterday we were obtaining the loan from jasleen so whenever we are taking the loan we are getting cash so cash is coming in cash will be debit moreover who is the giver of the loan yesterday jasleen so jasleen's loan today our wife is the giver so wife is loan okay yes number 5 cash comes in through loan cash account debit wife is giver of loan don't write only wife instead write wife's loan account debit Okay, wife is the giver of the loan, so wife's loan. Purchase is made of twenty thousand. Amount is paid by check. Okay. Now we are purchasing, but what not return? So purchasing the goods. So purchase account debit goods are coming. Moreover, no name is written, but it is clear that the money is paid through check. means we are not paying the money on our behalf our bank will pay the money so bank will be the giver so bank account credit but if nothing is written then cash goes out then cash credit but if check is written then bank is credit goods are purchased purchase account debit amount is paid to bank in bracket check
then you can write bank is the giver but amount is made through bank it is much proper reason okay next sales is made of 42000 and amount is received by check here amount if it is paid by check then bank is the giver bank is credited if we are receiving the money uh, in the bank account so bank is the receiver bank is debited goods are sold so sales is amount is received through bank check bank account debit goods are sold sales account credit withdrawn 22000 from the bank we are withdrawing through the bank so bank is our giver of our money when we are depositing bank is receiver of our money when we are withdrawing bank is the giver of our money so bank is credited we are withdrawing for us so cash is coming in so cash account debit number 8 cash comes in to bank cash account debit bank is giver of our cash bank account credit next 2000 paid to insurance premium by check now we are paying insurance premium paying means our expense so insurance premium is the expense insurance premium is debit if we are receiving friends then it is our income incomes are credited if we are paying or if we are incurring then it is our expense so that expense is to be debited now the amount is paid through check so bank will be credited if amount is simply paid then cash is credited understand this thing if simply it is written paid insurance premium then cash is credited because nothing is clear if it is clear the amount is paid through bank so uh, bank should be credited insurance premium is expense insurance premium account debit amount paid through check bank account credit now next again 11 notes 300 3500 received from account when we are paying it is the expense expense are debit when we are receiving it is our income so incomes are credit now nothing is clear through what we have received through check then bank debit and nothing so cash is received cash comes in cash account debit brokerage is income brokerage account debit can write one more after that we will drop the board next goods of 12000 sold to dani 
amount is received by check again we are selling the goods goods are going out sales credit and dani name is written but they are telling that amount is received through check so amount is received so uh, but through check so bank is the receiver of our money bank account debit and sales account credit but if nothing was given then cash is to be credited and if only name is given then dani will be नंबर इलेवन एमाउंट इज रिसीव थ्रू चेक बैंक अकाउंट डेबिट गुड्स आर सोल्ड Sales account. Okay. Now, friends, we have completed eleven. Now, nine more. Number twelve. Goods purchased from the bank amount paid by check. See in both these transactions, uh, names are given for the confusion because we will uh, confuse that name. Why we are not writing name should be only written in the transaction when it is sold or purchased on credit. These are not purchased or sold on credit because amount is paid and received through check only. So bank will come in between. And also for purchase, we are purchasing the goods. Goods are coming in, so purchase debit. Amount is paid through check, so bank account credit. In the previous transaction, goods are sold, so sales is credit. Amount is received through check, so bank is debited. Goods are purchased. Purchase account debit. Amount is paid through bank. In bracket, you can write check. Bank. Withdrawn two thousand five hundred from the business for personal use. Now we are withdrawing not from the bank, from the business itself, for our personal use. Now this is the first transaction. This is again new transaction. It is coming first time. So underline the word withdrawn and underline for personal use. When it is written withdrawn and for personal use, always drawings are debit. When we are bringing something to the business, then capital is credit. When we are taking something from the business, so drawings is debit. As we have learnt in terminology only, capital is the investment made, so it is increasing. Drawings is the uh, investment taken from the business, so it is decreasing. So whenever anything brought in the business personally, capital is credited, and whenever every, uh, anything is withdrawn from the business personally, so drawings are to be debited. Withdrawn for personal use. Draw. 
coins they come debit now what we are withdrawing for personal use we can withdraw goods if we are withdrawing goods then purchase account should be debited why yesterday only i have given the reason if the goods are gone through fire for theft for uh, personal use for charity for advertisement for free sample always purchase is credited and debit side it should be decided that if it is loss or for personal use okay we are withdrawing for personal use so drawings account debit nothing is clear so we are withdrawing cash only cash goes out cash account credit again i will explain we are withdrawing from the business for personal use but what we are withdrawing is not clear so we are withdrawing cash only always whenever we are withdrawing for personal use drawings is debit now nothing is given so we are withdrawing cash if goods are given then purchase should be credited withdrawn goods of 1500 from the business for personal use again we are withdrawing from the personal use so drawings is debit but now nothing is not given in previous transaction nothing is given so cash goes out here goods are cleared so purchase should be debited just now on the i have said withdrawn for personal use drawings account debit goods goes out in bracket outward so when the goods are outward always purchase account is credited remember this thing don't forget that when it is outward of goods by other use means by charity or personal use by advertisement or free samples or by fire or by theft always purchase is credited and all other are losses so that loss to be debited loss due to fire loss due to theft loss due to samples loss due to advertisement but this is not a loss this is only for personal use so understand the difference between 13th and 14th we are withdrawing for personal use so drawings should be debit here nothing is given so cash goes out cash credit here goods are going out so purchase should be credited dividend received through check check is deposited in bank we are receiving the dividend so dividend is our income dividend is our income so dividend is credited now what is received cash or bank here it is clear we are receiving through check so bank account debit and dividend credit but if nothing is given then cash is only to be amount is received through bank in bracket we will write check bank account Debit. Dividend is income. How it is income? It is return received. Dividend income. It is return in the book clearly. So we are writing. Okay. Next. Bank has credited. of interest now see uh, here in transaction number 16 and 17 that thing is to be understood what bank is doing the opposite thing we will do why opposite thing we will do because you have to understand what bank does is opposite for us because each transaction has two if bank is crediting in their book so we are debiting each transaction has debit and credit effect so always this thing is to be kept in mind that bank has credited bank is crediting so we will debit the bank and what we will credit bank interest in next transaction bank is debiting so bank is debiting so we will credit the bank and what bank is debiting for us bank charges so bank charges are debited in this way you need to understand friends because this is the base that each transaction has debit and credit effect from here you will understand now bank is other person for us 
they are debiting so we, in our books it should be credit if they are crediting so in our books it should be debited remember this things so bank has credited so we will debit the bank but in reason you will write this thing only bank has credited the interest so we are having in bank bank account bank has credited so we will debit the bank and bank has credited what bank interest bank interest is receive bank interest account credit there is one more in for it what is written in the question bank has credited interest so you credit bank interest at that time then debit what bank otherwise you can remember in this way that bank has so we have to debit the bank in the next transaction bank has debited so we have to credit the bank and in the opposite side what is written here interest is written here charges okay bank has debited 100 for bank charges so if you are not getting the thing that bank has debited then first write the credit if it is self bank has debited the bank charges so bank has debited we will credit the bank bank account credit now write here bank has debited so we have credited the bank now bank has bank is doing what bank charges bank charges are incurred bank charges account Okay. This thing you require in next chapters also. So friends, I am telling you, this is very simple hint to understand that if bank is crediting, we should debit the bank. If bank is debiting, we should credit the bank. Why? This is the simple reason of debit and credit. If opposite party is crediting, we have to debit. See, bank is crediting, we have debited the bank. Bank is debiting, we have credited the bank. so opposite party is crediting we will debit opposite party is debiting we will credit and in the opposite side if bank was crediting we have debited the bank then what is written bank interest so bank interest credited if bank is debiting the bank charges so we will credit the bank and what is the charge bank charges in the opposite side bank charges there opposite side bank interest if you are understanding in this way then it would be easy for the next chapters also next wages paid paid means it is our expense so wages are our expense wages account debit no word is given so cash will be only paid so paid is our expense wages are expense wages account debit cash is paid cash account credit next paid loan interest of 350 again we are paying so interest on loan or loan interest is debited and we have paid so cash is paid okay simple whenever we are paying debit the expense and credit cash is nothing is given if bank word is clear then instead of cash right bank number 90 loan interest is expense why it is expense again i will tell why these both are expense because paid word is given if received word was given then they are to be credited because they are income loan interest account debit cash is paid cash now the last transaction what is the last transaction 
machine is purchased now this is not purchase this is purchase of asset so don't write purchase account instead we are purchasing the asset so machine account debit now nothing is given so cash is paid so cash account credit okay machinery comes in machinery account debit cash is paid cash account debit so friends here we are completing our chapter hope that all are understanding my words uh, if you are not getting the points then as i said watch it two or three times first and foremost thing is to understand the base if you are not uh, clear with the rules or base points that you cannot do this sums so be clear with the base then only you can solve this okay so friends still here only unit test will be asked but tomorrow we will start the third chapter of account only okay that's all for today thank you so much